Hi, I'm Kelsey from Ratings.com. Today we'll be reviewing the Glorious Gem K2. We'll be evaluating on our standardized test bench to see how it performs and if you should buy it. The Glorious Modular Mechanical Keyboard 2 is exactly as its name suggests, a modular mechanical keyboard designed for gaming use. It's the successor of the Glorious Gem MK and it has a few improvements over the original one. You can buy a bare bones version of the Gym K2 without switches or keycaps installed, or you can buy a fully assembled version. We bought and tested the fully assembled version with the Glorious Fox switches. Obviously, the typing experience will vary depending on what switches, keycaps, or size you go with if you build your own version. The Glorious Gym MK2 comes in two size variants, a compact size and a full size. The full size version is actually a 96% form factor, meaning it has a numpad and dedicated function and arrow keys. It's missing a few keys overall, and there's less space between the keyboard sections. This means you get a more compact size, but you get to keep all the functionality. It feels very well built, the chassis is made of hard plastic, and the top plate is aluminum, so there's no flex at all. Though the keycaps are made of ABS plastic, they are double shot, so the legends won't fade over time. They also feel higher quality than other ABS keycaps. Inside the board, there's a layer of sound dampening foam to help reduce high pitch noises from the switches and stabilizers. The stabilizers are clip-on. This means they're easy to replace with screw-in ones if you want to customize them. Like other GMK boards, this one also has a hot swappable PCB, so you can change out the stock switches for any of your choice without having to solder. Since it's made to be taken apart, it comes with extra tools to help, like a switch puller and a keycap puller. Although it has two incline settings, the top of the keycaps still sit fairly high up, so you'll have to tilt your wrist up to use it. This can get uncomfortable since it doesn't come with a wrist rest, however you can purchase one separately off their website. On to the test results. First, let's check out the functionality of this keyboard. It offers a few extra features that are standard on gaming keyboards such as the N key rollover and a Windows key lock. Media keys, lighting effects, and profile settings are accessible directly on board with hotkeys. The companion software lets you set macros or adjust the input latency and polling rate to improve performance. You can also customize the RGB backlighting and save profiles to the onboard memory, so there's a good customization on the software end as well. On the topic of RGB, it's incredible on this keyboard. Each key is individually lit with north-facing RGB LEDs, and the key legends are shining through, so you can actually read them in the dark. The color mixing is also much better than it was on earlier version of this keyboard, so the white light looks white rather than blue. If there is a downside to this keyboard, it's that it's wired only. Though the braided cable is fine, it keeps kinks from its packaging and adds another cable to manage. So if you're looking for a wireless keyboard to use with multiple devices at once, you're better off looking elsewhere. Now let's move on to the typing experience. The linear glorious Fox switches have a long pre-travel distance. While this is good for reducing typos, it makes key presses feel less sensitive. Fortunately, the operating force isn't high, which balances out the longer pre-travel distances so typing still feels light. As we've mentioned, this keyboard has a hot swappable PCB, so if you don't like the feeling of these stock switches, you can change them out. The keyboard offers excellent typing quality, its keys are stable, well spaced, and feel nice to type on. The sound dampening foam inside the board does a great job at keeping your keystrokes quiet so you won't have to worry about annoying a parent or roommate while gaming. It also offers an excellent gaming experience thanks to its low latency. Even fast-paced and competitive games will feel responsive. It's important to note that the pre-assembled version only comes with linear glorious Fox switches. So if you want a different stock switch type, you'll have to buy the bare bones version and install the switches and keycaps separately. The glorious website offers a handy customization portal, but by default, the bare bones version with switches and keycaps bought separately will cost more. However, you'll end up with a fully customized product. So this brings us to the main question. Should you buy this keyboard? Well, the GMK2 is a good entry point into the wonderful world of keyboard customizations with an easily hot swappable PCB and removable stabilizers. So if you're interested in joining the hobby, the GMK series is a good starting point for beginners. 
As this is a direct successor to the original GMK, not the GMK Pro, the GMK2 has a few upgrades including a more solid build quality, better RGB backlighting, and improved latency. However, its latency isn't as low as some other keyboards, like the Ducky 1.3. The Ducky 1.3 is also hot swappable, but it comes pre-assembled in a wider range of stock switch types. Also, it lacks a companion software, so you can program macros and adjust RGB backlighting directly on board. That's all for the glorious GMK2. If you're interested in learning more, you can check out the written review on our website.